All right, welcome back to another video. So this is a crafting lawnmower. Uh, it's been used, I think it's like 2005. And it's got problems. Look at the YouTube short I uploaded, you could hear it. So we're gonna try to figure that out. First thing I do is pop off this air filter cover. So, make sure there's one in here. All right, one screw out. And then this other screw comes out. I'll show you guys all this in a sec. Alrighty, so here is our air filter cover. I'll pull the air filter out of it. Oh, the air filter is pretty good. So I'll set this stuff down here on the lower deck. Alright. Um, so it's got, I think it's a spark problem. So what I'm going to do here is take this side cover off. Um, see how this comes apart. And it just comes apart with those two bolts right there. So I'm going to go grab our ratchets. Squeeze through. Yeah, this thing uh, had some carburetor issues, so. Just gonna grab one These are actually real nice. My grandma made them for me. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's see. I'll show you guys. So the bolts have to come out. So we got there's some right here. This needs to come off. So let's get into it. So we're going to be having, these are um, 3 8 bolts, pop those loose, and we're taking off this whole cover, so we got to get down to the coils, so what I'm going to try to do here, is I'm going to switch the coils, the wire, the, um, the lightning hoses. There's different YouTubers says, and um, we're going to see if it does the same thing. I'll have to take it outside, warm it up, and then I'll bring the camera out there for you guys to watch. And then that should be pretty good. This should be using a ratchet because this is taking a while, <laughs> and I don't want to pull with you all with all this. So like. This thing, I'm pretty sure it's been chewed and stuff. She's like, she's a little old. Yeah, you know what I mean? These are like 15 mile holes, I swear. And finally, you just, that's gone. A bit of a tighter squeeze. So it's not gonna be so so fun. I'll show you guys if you can't really see it. I'm sorry, but I'll show you what this cover looks like. It's just so like I've been riding this thing around lately. And it, and it does this weird thing. I heard that it does, it like misses. So maybe this, it like pops real bad as you can hear in that video. So maybe it's getting constant spark. So like when the piston is down and it's the right cylinder doing it. I should have mentioned that. Um, when it's constant spark, I mean by when the piston's all the way down, it might be sparking still. Bad C if you have a bad coil, who knows. Or it could be something wrong with the engine. Like, 
Maybe somehow the carburetor's doing it. I doubt that. I kind of got to doubt that stuff. And this is just, get out of here, you. Finally she comes. This cover is shot. I don't even think there's a point of putting it back on. It's just junk. Like, it's, look at that. All just eaten up. Junk. Alright, so now, let's see. We gotta get the whole entire engine cover out. So... I don't know. What do you guys think? A ratchet would do nicely for this? Yeah, I think so too. Oh wait, maybe. Maybe. I have an idea. If I just loosen these, they can, it can slide out, I think. This should go. Actually, a good idea. If it isn't, then that sucks for me, right? Everybody? Just me. No. It's kind of now somebody could have tightened that so much tighter. Being so fast, here. these are tight. No reason for it. And that one's loose. So I'm just hoping. Yeah, it looks like it can do that. I'm just going to. Jesus Christ, it at me. I just accidentally touched my battery by wrench to the side of the battery. <sighs> that was not good. And now the wrench is going. I hope I didn't blow a fuse on this thing. And it sounds a little bit like smoke. Now, that could have been bad. You guys are probably getting a good laugh. <laughs> Like, that was not good. Get out of here, you. Nobody cares. I'm hoping... I'm going to set these wrenches down. This coil thing will fix it. I'm not even going to put these covers... Jesus, that was tight. Everybody, tight. And the tightening will tighten. It's just hitting off some wires, it's okay. And so I'm just going to, once I figure it out, I'll just. Um, so I'm taking all this off so we can get a good look and the coil I think is under this. So it'll just be a lot easier to just get out of here. And this is where the 3 8 wrench comes in very handy. Let's see, what do we got off? Let's see. Here. And then we're good. <coughs> Jesus, buddies, tighten this so much tighter, would you? I hope this cover can come off real nice and easily because this does not fit the forest. Alright, so we're hooked on somewhere up here. Does not want to come out. Let's see. Drop the wrench. Huh. 
Let's just duct tighter now. Trying to get out of the way. Okay, that's our issue right there. Set this over here. So I'm thinking this one needs to be loosely. Because it's catching. Yeah. Loose now. One more ski. Imagine all these bolts just bobbing it loose when it starts. No, I'm trying to throw it back in. Like that one. It's catching somewhere. Like this whole cover should be coming off. What the deal is? Is what's the issue here? I think it's just a little tight. That's gonna pop out of there. Maybe our little lab needs to be useful. Nope. Pop it there. Now we can put it out. So. That's 16. Try that once. Yep, it's a 5 16 anyway. I wonder why this whole cover is not popping off. Man, sometimes I just overlook everything in the cover. It's okay, you can be calm and stupid. <laughs> be a long video I'm sorry I can't so if you guys bleep bloop it down or, or floop floop it or
spam out a message down there in the comments section on how can I edit my videos together on my phone. Because then it would not take this long. Like, we would be like, alright, so pop this cover off. Get that one off, and then we're done. This wrench is only going so far, so we're going to... Imagine there's just some mice living in this thing. Kind of doubt it, but... You never know, it's a... Kind of a craftsman thing. Alright. What a stupid design anyway. We got one more to take out. And on top of that, can't even get into the thing on the floor. This mold is kind of shot anyway. Like I'm not to be dismounted or anything, but you guys, my whole plan, you don't make the best. It's kind of cheap junk. Mm. You know, sometimes fun to ride on or whatever. Mess around, cut. Like, I want to build someday a mud mower. Can't believe there's four of these thinking things. There's so many of them, everybody. And the whole thing is trying to turn on them. Like a, like a billy goat. Here we go. Now I'll show pop loose. Like butter. Alright, so it's all a car. Let's feel the compression. It's okay. Pretty weak. But now I can see this whole engine here. Let's see, we got an oil filter. Good. We got a coil. It's got two. Well, I'll be dipped. Two coils. Here's what we're gonna do. If this can reach, no, it can't. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to move this coil. The other side. And we are going to see if she's bad or not. <clears throat> see how this comes apart now. Now hold your horses, fellas. This coil is tighter than Chinese chicken salad. Now these are just little tiny. See if that's loosening up my coil. Good. There it is. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just pop that little fellow loose. Just fit it with my fingers. This whole coil is just going to pop out. Like, how much wrong that these are soldered so you can't even. I'm just gonna. Alright, close loose. 
Let's see. So it pops out. That's a good new sign. Oh, whew. Oh, it's hard to get out of there. All right, so that's how it hooks up. So I'm gonna switch them. All right, so here's one coil. That's out. It's there. This, you'll always be going on the other side, the second row. Because I'm testing you guys. And this is gonna be our test. And if it don't fix it, I'll start a new video. And we'll keep continuing on. I'll upload this one though to show you guys what we first did. Because this, I don't want it to be super long. I'm sure you guys are like, Jesus crap, man. this guy's taking forever. I'm not using a ratchet, too. Really, I forgot I could mention that. And leave, leave a loop down below. Do you think I should put back on that shredded, stupid little shroud that's around? Somebody's been in here. It feels like. Yeah, somebody's definitely had a monkey in there. All right, so this one, same exact thing. What in the fellow world? Oh, I cut myself a little there. Ouch. All right. Well, put this one back on over here. This is going to be the most awkward. Engine's still warm. From when I drove her in here, so. Alright, so we got. We got to hooks. This one. I got the bolts just stuffed down in the old pocket tray. In the old jeans pocket, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do in life. Alright, so. It's all plugged in. I don't even know if it'll run. I've never changed a coil on one of these before. It's super simple. I'm not gonna lie. Like, all you people out there can do this. And I'm going real slow. Because it's nice and relaxing. <laughs> Alright. Oh. I hope I did. Alright, so. Pop this one in. Give him a little. <coughs> Put the wrench in a sec. Here we go. You fellers and fellettes, you don't need 5,000 foot pounds of torque or something crazy. All you gotta do is, like, you don't gotta go like, you don't need to be that tight. All you gotta do is stay down. And this stupid little fella. Why is that even so cool? Alright. I'm just gonna pop this in. Pop another one of these. There we go. 
On close it. We'll put it in here real quick. We're going to take her outside. I guess we'll put her on back here. To clean it out. I'm not going to start the video next time. If this don't fix it. Or I guess it's not going to fix it. We're testing to see if a coil is bad. Should have stated that already. Right. I'm just gonna see if this coil is bad or not. Cause like, if it's bad, then we know it's. Is this even gonna fit down here? It's a little spark plug wire. Let's just take a gander. If it ain't, I mean, a lot of buttons. Big and brown. Take a gander. Taking a gander. Alright, I'm just gonna have to go and play with you. Oh. Come on, for Pete's sakes. It's all gone. It's just being a tickle of a weirdo. Mm. Give me a sec. It just is stuck tighter. Locked up tighter than state prison. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got it. Jeepers creepers. Could have taken longer. So, what we gotta do, pop these in, and they're already a little thin. I think what I was thinking, you guys, is if this don't work, it could be the carburetor, because it pops real bad, and the one cylinder hardly runs. It could be low compression, too. But, I don't think it is. Well, I gave it a compression test. Wow, that thing is fine. Completely. You won't get in there. You you can thread in already, can't you? Thread out the old wrench. Our sixteenths. Pop it together. Make sure we might have a weed whacker video coming up. Snowmobile video, I'm sure. Once the snow comes, we'll give a cold start on my 340 Scooby. So, do you guys think I'm just gonna pop it back together? Because if this don't work, it will be waiting on parts for a little while. Let's just 
see this one look like. Yep, it, it did. So I'm going to see if the other side will work. One other round. I'm just gonna have to run this down. Place it on. Hook this down over here. Alright, sure. 100% works. Yep, definitely. just goes in hard. Wait, never mind. It just... This one is just not wanting to be my friend today. And craftsman makes, you know, craftsman design. So like, this old round it needs to just, it should just gently sit. Not uh -huh. like that. Right there. Right there. It's three eighths. Nope. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, that's right. I I'm sure it's just gonna come back apart anyway. That's all I found. Just do all this down to show you. Mm -hmm. Yep, you betcha. Sure, come on.
should be good. Oh, I'm gonna pull it. And you know, too, I just got the thing. What if it's the seat switch? Do you know what I mean, you guys? Like, they could do something not nicely. And I thought, what in tarnation? I, I could disconnect that and things don't work. There we go. Alright, now let's put on the stupid top card. This is just a little car that sits, much more of it sits in there too. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna set this on. It just threads in somehow. screw Thread that. Okay, that one's started. Now I'm going to go another one. I'm going to do this side. This cover set, like, I was here before, maybe I have to put on now. Let's shape it in a little better this time. This thing's motor is not too bad. The blades are dull right now. Dull, dull, dull. Like, super dull. Seems like 3 8 is a nice wrench. But these are 5 16 little tiny screw bolts. They're like, you know what the, you know, kind of bolts are like screw bolts with the sharp threads on. It's like that. This would be nice with a ratchet wrench. No. Anyway. I think I could blow this thing together. Hold on. I don't feel like going on a wrench. Or I'm not, sorry, a wrench. Alright. Here's another one. Going. Or design craftsman. We got like 
He's like run down so close that you barely can tighten these threads. Did I tighten that? Threads are big, so it just goes down quicker. That's back together. Now we got, let's see, what else do we got? Air filter. All right. This part, and then she'll be back together pretty much. I'm just, I'm not putting on that shredded up piece. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this video and this it back together. We'll see if it starts up. I'll also make it pop because I don't want to smoke out the garage. But then, oh. All right. Yeah. We'll see what she does, everybody. Hold on. Let me put these ends back. I don't want to do Pick you guys up and scare you. Set you guys over here so you can watch everything. Loosen this. Uh oh, bad. That's where that creepy noise was. Hope I did not break anything. Come on now. All right, to make this not so long, you guys, I'll just buzz this off real fast and then See you guys don't have to watch me put the same cover back on. I'll stop the video. I'll start it and then I'll stop the video.
because your dad's with that loving noise is. It's just sliding on top of plastic. You know, these things are just. I'm gonna shut up. I must be kind of because, Let's be honest, you guys. These are just cheap. Craftsman's Day. Let's just go spend two hundred dollars to make these lawnmowers real quick. Oh, engineer. Um, we'll put the air filled tray right over here so nobody can touch it, just because I can. Oh, we'll make the fiber cover all weird. Laundry, okay. But I'll give him credit. It's old. 2005 and it's still running. Imagine it just got rebuilt. <laughs> Don't look like it. <laughs> Alright. I should tip that down. Because you guys are just staring. Right at the building. And not really. Looking at the tractor. One more to go, you guys, and then we're done here. Just this one. <laughs> Just buzzing this off. Good. I'm just gonna have to shut the hood just because. See if she cracks up, buddy. Alright, I'll take her outside. Fire it up. Okay, so. Thank you guys for watching this video. And hope you had fun hanging out with me in the garage today. Peace out. Thank you.